Good evening, everyone. My name is Chelsea Wilness. I'm a professor of organizational behavior and the university's chief governance officer. Welcome to spring 2021 graduation celebration. I would like to acknowledge that although we are celebrating virtually this year, I'm speaking to you from the University of Saskatchewan's main campus, which is situated in the traditional territory of Treaty 6 and the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respects to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place and reaffirm our relationship with one another. I want to extend a warm thank you to our performers who began our celebration, to the drum group Buffalo Boys Productions for performing today's honor song, to Kate Nashalobe, accompanied by Matthew Praxis on piano for O Canada, and Amanda Goller, accompanied by Kiefer Paul on guitar for the Métis Anthem. We are so fortunate to have you all take part in our ceremony today. Thank you. In our celebration today, you'll hear from our elder and knowledge keeper, Roland Duquette, and our president and vice chancellor of the university, Peter Stoichev will each give their address to the graduands. Next, you'll hear from our Chancellor Grit McCreeth, and she will explain about convocation and what we would normally expect to see when we are in person for our ceremonies. 
Following the Chancellor, we will present to you one of this year's esteemed honorary degree recipients who will offer their message to the graduating class of 2021. The Dean's Message and Student Awards will be presented after the honorary degree and will be followed by a special message from your Alumni Association, of which you officially become a lifelong member now that you are graduating. We will close the ceremony with a song from the university's very talented music department. And now I will welcome Elder Roland Duquette, followed by President Peter Stoichev and Chancellor Grit McCreef. Ah, Samin, you did your chase by Pegaski, Omagawi, Pegota, Ectagi, Sklamatwig. You can make Nistana Nekte, we cheat, put in the gun, go we cheese week, come up much a week. You come in a Kaiga one eight, a Miki worker, Kaki pick Sklamaga week. Good day, everyone. Again, I welcome you all you know, to the Treaty 6 territory, the homeland of the Métis, and also the, the graduates that are, you know, their special day today that you, we welcome you into, into, into our setting as what we are as people that connect with the Mother Earth. Eh? And then when we start that, you know, we, we can apply our, our skills to be grounded for what we learn through time and uh, and in the future. So that brings you back to your uh, careers that you're going to be going to, eh? taking, taking hold of your, of your lives, uh, later on your families, your community, and maybe your government, and maybe your, your country as well, to serve however you believe yourself to have that skill of communicating, first of all, applying your skills to maintain that harmony that we talk about in our in our country in our lives as well that you know it comes from a home from your home what you did what you are that dictated you to be that person that has that special skill that you you've earned for yourself through dedication through uh, sacrifice your families sacrificing your your loved ones your community as well maybe you know we don't know but you are the driving force for your own uh, family, for your own community, and for your for your country as well. When they when you uh, contribute to the economy, and I and I thank you all for for listening. Uh. Hello, I'm Peter Stoichev. It's my great privilege to be the president of the University of Saskatchewan and to be speaking to you today from this historic Convocation Hall. I'd like to congratulate you on your remarkable accomplishment in completing your degrees, diplomas and certificates. While our Convocation format has changed, it does not in any way diminish your tremendous achievement. I regret I cannot be with you in person to shake your hand and congratulate you as you walk across the stage to the applause of your families and friends and supporters. Please take a moment to thank them for everything they have done to get you to this point. None of us achieves anything this big without the help of others. You're graduating at a time when everything has changed and will not be quite the same again. The pandemic has taught the world much about empathy and understanding and about the importance of science-based decision-making. It has exposed many inequities in our world and the vulnerability of marginalized peoples. It has highlighted the need for governments, public health experts, and citizens to work together. And it has demonstrated the importance of a university such as ours in the fight against one of the most pressing challenges of our lifetimes. No other year in our university's history has asked so much of us individually and collectively. As Saskatchewan's research intensive medical doctoral university, we have been a strategic and critical partner in the province's response and recovery efforts, supporting the health system, finding solutions, and working to help Saskatchewan emerge stronger from the pandemic. Many of you have contributed to those efforts and I thank you for your perseverance and resilience and hard work during this past extraordinary year. If I were with you to congratulate you on the stage today, I'd be saying that you made it. And now we all need you to go out and make the world a better place. It's a great privilege to have a university education and with that privilege comes great responsibility. The world needs you now, educated and qualified to make it a better place. 
More than ever before, all of us need people with degrees like yours from a university like yours to help build a more sustainable world, a more equitable world, a healthier world, a more compassionate world, a world with the courage to embrace diversity and togetherness simultaneously. I know you will do it. With this privilege of a University of Saskatchewan degree comes responsibility. Take hold of it, make it yours, Make the world a better place for you, for us, for everyone. Take the journey, take the risks, make a difference to a world that needs you now. None of you know exactly where you are headed next, and that's okay. This spring convocation includes honorary degrees being conferred to writer, activist, and elder Maria Campbell, author and naturalist Trevor Harriet, groundbreaking plant breeder Brian Harvey, diabetes researcher and innovator Thad No, and influential legal scholar and advisor Ed Ratushny. None of them knew what they would contribute and accomplish. They took the journey, not knowing its outcome, and broke down barriers for all of us who followed. You can do the same. Each of you graduating today has got it in you. Thank you in advance on behalf of everyone at the University of Saskatchewan for taking up this tremendous and timely challenge of making the world a better place. And I congratulate you on this convocation milestone in your lives. Welcome everyone. It is my honor and pleasure to celebrate this important milestone with you, which with a USASC degree will be the first of many milestones in your life. I am Grit McCreeth, Chancellor of the University of Saskatchewan and a proud graduate just as you are now too. While many of us have not been on campus for quite some time, most will recognize the space I am in today. Behind me is Convocation Hall. This place has immense history for USASC, and as the name implies, in the early days of the university, this is where USASC celebrated its convocation ceremonies. Though the number of students graduating outgrew Convocation Hall, this room remains the cornerstone of graduations in our university's history. Merlis Belcher Place joins that history as the new venue for Convocation Ceremonies, and we all look forward to having in-person celebrations once again, marking with great fanfare the transition from USASC student to USASC graduate. As USASC graduates, you now join more than 160,000 alumni worldwide, building the communities they call home and building our university's reputation through their outstanding influence and global reach. My role as chancellor is to confer your degrees, diplomas and certificates officially on behalf of the university something I have only had the pleasure of doing once face to face since stepping into this role in 2019. Convocation not only gives us the time to celebrate your accomplishments, but it also is a time when we acknowledge our honorary degree recipients and our most distinguished teachers and researchers. It is indeed a significant time for the university community. When I started in my official duties, one of the things I looked forward to the most was the opportunity to meet all of you and shake your hands at convocation. Circumstance has made that impossible. However, I am grateful that I am still able to take part via video. Before I turn you over to the honorary degree presentation and the rest of our program, I would like to leave you with some thoughts. Your time at USASC has prepared you for a lifetime of success, backed by a rich and rigorous education that will add value throughout your professional and personal lives. Today is a culmination of everything you have learned and achieved while at the University of Saskatchewan. And you are just getting started. I cannot wait to hear about the things you accomplish as a USASC graduate. Finally, 
you will note that over the course of the past few minutes, I have not recited any of the following words. COVID-19, unprecedented, grim milestone, or pandemic. Earlier this week, I was on a Zoom call with a number of graduating students who made me promise that I would not use any of those words in my address today. They told me that we have heard these words far too often this past 15 months. Here is hoping they are words we will not be saying with much regularity in the year ahead. I will simply say that in the last year, your campus activities, friendships, studies, and all the social aspects of university life have been compromised. Fate had a different plan for you, and I recognize that it took courage, tenacity, resilience, and fortitude to succeed in your academic pursuits, and for this, I commend you. As Dr. Seuss would say, yay you. Congratulations to all of you. We are so proud of what you have accomplished, and this is just the beginning. Today is your day, and remember, anything is possible. Thank you, Elder Duquette, President Stoichev, and Chancellor McCreeth. Next, we will turn to our honorary degree presentation, followed by our awards. Anin nedinam maganatuk, mizawek megok pepa motang dezenakaz. Greetings, all my relations. I'm Jackie Ottman, and I'm Vice Provost of Indigenous Engagement at the University of Saskatchewan. And I am pleased to introduce to you a truly remarkable Métis elder, role model, mentor, author, playwright, filmmaker, and community leader. Today, we are so happy to pay tribute to Elder Maria Campbell, a trailblazer in the fields of Indigenous literature and performing arts. Born on a trap line in northern Saskatchewan on April 26, 1940, Miss Campbell grew up in a road allowance community speaking Cree, Michif, and Soto. A dedicated volunteer, activist, and advocate for Indigenous rights and the rights of women and children for more than 40 years, Campbell opened doors for Indigenous writers when she authored her best-selling autobiography, Half-Breed, in 1973. I vividly remember reading this book. The story was gripping, and the events in the book stayed with me for days, if not years. Elder Campbell has since written eight books, some of which have been translated into German, Chinese, French, Italian, and Spanish and dozens of stage plays, including Flight, the first professionally produced all Indigenous theatre production in Canadian history. Dr. Campbell taught Indigenous literature, creative writing, and Métis history at the University of Saskatchewan for 15 years, retiring in 2012. But her commitment to creating a better future for Indigenous students has kept her around campus, and she currently serves as the Indigenous Cultural Advisor in the College of Law, where she also teaches a class on Indigenous legal orders. When she is not teaching, Maria is also the Artistic Director of the Crossing Theatre Company, which streamed her latest children's play, Elder Brother, directed by Yvette Nolan, in October 2020. Dr. Campbell's contributions to community and culture have earned her multiple major awards and accolades, including being made an Officer of the Order of Canada in 2008, receiving the Distinguished Canadian Award in 2006, named to the Saskatchewan Order of Merit in 2005, and selected for a National Aboriginal Achievement Award, now Inspire Award, in 1995. In 2012, she received the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation Fellowship, and in May of this year, she was awarded the Saskatchewan Lieutenant Governor's Lifetime Achievement Award in the Arts. She also has been inducted into the Saskatchewan Theatre Hall of Fame. Maria continues to serve her community as an elder, teacher, mentor, and advocate, bringing forward seven-generation teachings and inspiring change-making in all her circles of influence. 
She has also been invaluable to the Vice Provost Indigenous Engagement Office and the Indigenous Law Center and the Indigenous Voices Program at the Gwena Moss Center for Teaching and Learning. Dr. Campbell's wisdom is so valued. Today we are extremely proud and I feel very privileged to bestow the University of Saskatchewan's highest honor as we award Maria Campbell the prestigious Honorary Doctor of Letters. I present to you Dr. Maria Campbell. Inge kichi kichi anenamin. Hi, hi in my city. Thank you to the University of Saskatchewan and uh, Dirk de Boer from the College of Arts and Sciences and to all the people who supported my nomination for this honorary degree. I want to acknowledge Chancellor McCreeth, President Stoichev, Elder Roland Duquette, Dr. Jackie Ottman, members of the graduating class, faculty members, parents, family, friends, and all those gathered in celebration today. No one achieves anything alone, something I'm sure that you, the graduates, especially understand. We owe our families for their loving support and generosity, for always being there for us. We owe our friends, fellow students, and co-workers. We owe our teachers and mentors. We owe our communities. And it's times like this that our hearts are full, and thank you doesn't seem to be enough to express how we feel. Certainly it does not adequately express the way I feel. My heart is full. I owe so many people so much. I owe the late Dr. Laurie Barron, who invited me here for the first time in 1991 to teach a summer class, and also David Carpenter the following summer, who asked me to job share with him in the Department of English. And I've been here since. I also want to tell you about my father, who as a small boy came on the river by canoe, muskrat trapping with his grandfather, my great-grandfather. And they camped at the bottom of the hill. And in the morning, my grandfather brought him up the hill. He was about eight or nine years old. And he said his grandfather pointed out, I guess what was probably the first buildings or the beginning of, of the university and told him, they're making a great school. And he said, someday your children are going to be here. So I never forgot that. Just before he passed away, my father was in the hospital across the street. And uh, I pointed out my office to him on the 11th floor of the English department. And, uh, and he was very emotional. And um, I think about him today as I, as I get this honorary doctorate. I thank the Great Mystery for this beautiful day and for lending me this good life. I thank the Great Mother, our Earth, for her kindness and her beautiful bounty and her generosity. I thank the First Old Grandmother, Keeper of all knowledge and laws, for her gentle love and for always being here for us. I thank the four grandfathers who sit at the four doorways, the east, the south, the west, and the north, for their courage and their protection. Saskatchewan, our beloved homeland, is a hard place for my people, Indigenous people. It's a hard place because Indigenous and settler societies have always lived in two solitudes. We indigenous peoples believe in a life as a sacred hoop where grandmother owns half of the circle and grandfather owns the other half. We believe that everything is interconnected, that everything has spirit and that everything is our relative and that the earth is our mother. We also believe that we must look seven generations ahead in terms of the people we represent. I can't speak for my children or my grandchildren. I can only speak for the seven generations. So I ask you, graduates and faculty, to think about that and about what you believe, what you know, 
and what you've been taught. There are so many differences. It's hard to find common ground, to find a place to begin. We have never learned to really speak to each other. When we come to university, it is an equally hard place. With very little exception, we see nothing that reflects back who we are. Rather, we see reflected an invented stereotype and a history with settler peoples that is one of anti-Indigenous attitudes and actions which created a rift among us that we are all struggling to reconcile. This university is situated on our lands, but all the land acknowledgements will mean nothing unless the university ensures that the people of this place, the Indigenous faculty, staff and students, are valued. When genuine local and experiential knowledges are embraced, acknowledgement is not enough. The growing number of Indigenous students from Saskatchewan on this campus and in community programs tell us clearly that Indigenous people of this place want to be here. And today in 2021, our university is in the midst of trying to decolonize and indigenize to make this institution a kinder place. Many programs and initiatives have been introduced recently as a result of efforts from many people and there's growing evidence of change. We are seeing more relationships among our respective peoples growing in positive ways and we see more efforts aimed at capacity building. But reconciliation will not happen without systemic and structural change. We cannot be losing Nehiawak, Métis, Anishinaabe, Dene, Lakota, Dakota peoples from this place to other universities. What that tells me and tells our communities is that they are not valued. Our people cannot be silenced when they critique and challenge some of the ways things are done here, ways that do not support local knowledge or enhance Indigenous success. The road ahead is very difficult for all of us. We need lots of courage and strength to make that change. We need many allies within the university and we need a larger community to help. Being here virtually with all of you graduates today gives me hope for the future of our relations. Ninanaskumun, I give thanks for past leadership and the old people whose hard work and commitment created a place for us in this university. And I also give thanks to the friends and allies who walked with them. And I give thanks for today's leadership and the friends and allies who walk with us now. The great mystery to give us all of the courage and the strength we need to continue the work to tell a new story for all of our children and for the generations to come. I had a friend who came here to university and she graduated with a PhD. It was a dream she had as a little girl in residential school. She lived a hard life, but she was able to come here as a single mom and put herself through. I accept this honorary degree in memory of Dr. Janice Ekus, who worked in the English department and who had a very difficult time there. I also accept it for the many men and women who made and continue to make a place for our people on this campus. All my relations. I hide mercy. Thank you. Hello, College of Dentistry 2020-21 graduates. Congratulations on reaching the end of a long and difficult journey. I sincerely hope that you're all proud of yourselves and the work that you have put in over your years in the College of Dentistry. Please remember to thank the many people who helped you along your path, loved ones, family, friends, professors, and staff. Each year, I have the honor of presenting one student with the Gold Medal Award which is awarded to the graduating student who has obtained the highest overall academic standing in the four-year dentistry program. It is my pleasure
to present the Gold Medal Award to this year's recipient, Dr. Abdul L. Rabani. Abdul chose dentistry for its combination of medicine and clinical techniques requiring fine motor skills. He said that dentistry has been described to him as a form of artistry. Following graduation, Abdul will be starting his next adventure at Dalhousie University, where he has been accepted into the oral and maxillofacial surgery internship program. During his time at the University of Saskatchewan, Abdul was a board member for the Direct Dental Clinic, a student-run, free-of-charge emergency clinic for patients without dental plans, and actively participated in running it on the weekends. He has been an outstanding student in the college and is a well-deserving recipient of the Gold Medal Award. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Abdul El Rabani. Now, to all of the dentistry graduates, it is my sincere hope and expectation that the following five words describe new or improved attributes that have been instilled in you by your time spent in the College of Dentistry. The first word is knowledgeable. Your time in the college should have given you a solid base of foundational knowledge in your new profession and set you up for success moving forward in your career. But I sincerely hope that it has also grown your knowledge in some non-core areas of professional responsibility, including culturally appropriate care and social responsibility, and that it has helped you to become the next generation of socially conscious health professionals. Second, skilled. During your education, you've learned and developed many new skills that equip you and will help you to achieve your dreams and take the next steps in your career. Three, confident. I expect that you leave confident in your knowledge, skills, and abilities. As you take your next steps, remember that you have been prepared to care for your patients in situations where you are adequately prepared, and to recognize and manage those patients with issues beyond your current preparations. Fourth, thirsty. Thirsty for more. While you are graduating today, your education does not end here. I hope that you are all thirsty for new knowledge and skills as you start the lifelong journey of curiosity and professional advancement required to become an expert dentist. Five, your dental education should have inspired you to know the many roles that you need to play and how you can contribute to the greater good of society and your profession. In addition to treating individual patients, we all have the professional obligation to contribute at a collective level. I encourage you to take a bit of time after graduation to establish your career, and then look for opportunities to contribute to the profession. Volunteer your time to your national, provincial, or local associations, or volunteer some time to the dental school to help train the next generation. You are joining a proud profession but one that badly needs the voices and efforts of the current generation. It has been my personal pleasure to have watched your journey through the dental program. I feel confident in knowing that you will take your profession forward as you become the next generation of exceptional dentists. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff at the College of Dentistry, I welcome you all to our outstanding group of alumni. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, graduates. My name is Cindy Pedernell Taylor, Interim Dean of the College of Nursing. Today is a day to celebrate. Convocation is a time to reflect on your hard work, commitment, and personal accomplishments. I am disappointed we are unable to celebrate this important milestone in person. Ironically, the same virus that prevents us from gathering today has also highlighted the tremendous importance of our nursing profession. The University of Saskatchewan strives to be what the world needs. As you celebrate the completion of your baccalaureate degree in nursing and enter the nursing profession, or commemorate the completion of your Master of Nursing or Doctor of Philosophy of Nursing and endeavour to apply your advanced nursing knowledge, know you will be exactly what the world needs. As nurses, you will make a difference in the lives of patients, families, and communities across the globe. As members of the Class of 2021, 
we know you will represent our college, our university, and our profession very well. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Nursing, I want to offer our heartfelt congratulations and let you know we are so proud of you. I close today with a personal reminder. Be kind to yourself. Try not to be too self-critical. Please remember the importance of self-care and the care of your fellow nurses. I'm pleased to share that the most distinguished 2021 graduate of the College of Nursing is Ms. Nikki Larson. In honour of this significant achievement, Nikki is the recipient of the W.S. Lindsay Gold Medal in Nursing and the University Prize in Nursing. Nikki grew up in Outlook, Saskatchewan and wanted to be a nurse because she appreciates how present nurses are with patients and loves the art and science of nursing. After completing her professional year in the College of Arts and Science at the University of Saskatchewan, Nikki was admitted to the BSN program in the College of Nursing at the Saskatoon campus in the fall of 2018. Nikki consistently demonstrated high academic achievement and exceptional clinical nursing skills, earning an impressive 89.4% average over her program. Nikki's instructors describe her as kind, dedicated, insightful, and extremely hardworking. She is a nurse with a very bright future. Presently, Nikki is working part-time in rural vaccination clinics near her hometown of Outlook. Future plans for Nikki include challenging the NCLEX in June and applying for positions in Saskatoon at the Royal University Hospital in either the cardiology unit or the emergency department. Nikki will graduate with great distinction and is indeed a worthy recipient of the awards for the most distinguished nursing graduate of the 2021 Spring Convocation. We are proud to have her as part of the profession of nursing and wish her all the very best. Congratulations, Nikki. Today we celebrate that you have earned your degree from the University of Saskatchewan. Congratulations, you did it. With your degree, you join an ever-growing alumni family of more than 158,000 USAS graduates around the world. We congratulate you on all your success and all your achievements that are sure to come. And now the following video from the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association shows where a USAS degree can take you. Welcome to the USAS alumni family. You have persevered through some of the most challenging times that our world has ever faced. And you have come out on top. You have come out on top. You have weathered the storm and won. Your graduation today is but one of the milestones. It is but one of the many milestones you will face in the coming years. Remember your classmates. Remember your professors. Remember your professors. Remember all the victories and challenges you faced. Remember all this fondly. Remember all this fondly. When you enrolled at the University of Saskatchewan, it was a new beginning. Your next steps beyond campus are a new beginning for you as well, as you will continue to grow professionally and personally. Make sure you take time to celebrate your victories with your family and friends. And just know that the USASC Alumni Association is very happy to call you one of their own. From all of the 162,000 people, people around the world who call themselves USASC Alumni, Congratulations. Congratulations. Be what the world needs. One, two, one, two. Grab your coat and get your hat. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear the pitter pat? And that happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade. Street. 
On the sunny side 